when you're trying to select a dependent variable, um, you want to select a continuous dependent variable. This will make your paper better and easier down the road. So the difference between a continuous dependent variable and other types is this. If you want to look at the problem of depression, depression would be the dependent variable. You could measure depression by asking someone 10 questions, and if they say yes to each question, they get a point, and then you add up all those points, and then they get like a 10 for depression, or some sort of number, right? Um, it could be zero to 100, zero to 20, something like that. The higher up that they get in those points, the more depression they have. So the number is meaningful. You could also measure depression dichotomously, which is yes or no. It's only two options. So either they are depressed or they aren't. Um, that is not the kind of variable that you want to select for this paper, dichotomous. You also don't want to select variables that are categorical. So that would be something like, let's say if depression, we say, you know, really bad depression, somewhat bad depression, or okay, or, or not too bad depression. Those are sort of categories. It's not a number. You can't measure the depression with a number. So you want to be able to measure the variable. So a common example is students often say that they want to prevent pregnancy, right? So pregnancy is a dichotomous variable. Either you're pregnant or you're not. You want to measure something like sexual health knowledge or how to prevent pregnancy. So if somebody, you know, took this survey in, you know, trying to learn how to prevent pregnancy, you know, let's say they scored a 9 out of 10, that means that they have really high sexual health knowledge. Something like that. So that's the kind of variable that you want to select in order to do well in this class. You want a continuous dependent variable. Thank you.